Bless you. Welcome again to our Defense Worship Service. Please share with others everywhere you are. Bring people on board quickly. Get somebody connected right now to watch with you. Bring somebody on board. It's going to be a wonderful time. Let's go quickly to the Word of God as we're inviting someone. Let's look at the Bible quickly. Genesis chapter 29, verse 25. Genesis chapter 29, verses 25. And it came to pass that in the morning, behold, it was Leel. And he said to Laban, what is this? Don't forget that. What is this that thou hast done unto me? Did not I serve with thee for riches? Wherefore then hast thou beguiled me? What have you done? What is this? What is this? It came to pass that in the morning, Behold, it was Leah, not Rachel. And he said to Laban, Jacob's talking, What is this? I want to minister what attack. What is this? What is this? What is this? So many people asking questions. You labor for something over the years. At the end of the day, you see something different. It is a question that you can't find answer easily. Many people asking that same question in the relationship. What is this? Some asking in the marriage. What is this? Several seven are asking. What is this? Student also asking. What is this? A lot of people asking the question. What is this? Joseph traveled all the way from his father's house and went and met Laban, his uncle. He began with Laban to work for Rachel. And Rachel says, seven years, I mean, Rachel father Laban says, seven years, you will get her. They went into the agreement for seven years contract. After the seven years, Rachel will be turned over to Jacob. Jacob labored year one. He went to two years, into three years, four years, five years, six years. The seven years came to an end on the day of the traditional marriage. They gave him lead that night. When jo just intoxicated with alcohol, he couldn't recognize himself. He slept with Lil. When he woke up in the morning, it was not Rachel, it was Lil. Then the question came about, what is this? He was looking at Lil and he asked, what is this? This is not what I'm begging for. This is not what I labor for. This is not what I sweat for. Have you gone through something as a civil servant? You work so many months and no pay. You've gone seven years of your life. You have nothing to show as a civil servant. Have you entered into the relationship? Five years, nothing to show. Ten years in a relationship, nothing to show. No visible proof. No evidence that you are in the relationship. What is this? Then the question come about. What is this? What some will say, what is this again? If yeah, what is this again? That means the person came from somewhere that he or she was broken. So she said, What is this again? I just came from the other place, better than broken. Came here to see if this one could help me. They said, What is this again? You enter into marriage, you thought you're gonna be okay. Something started sweet. The chatting and developing on social media, and you started chatting with the person so unique, so sweet, and you develop from social media to the phone, and you take it from the phone, talking, you went to video, video conversation, everything was perfectly done well. You're going up gradually into something that this is my future husband, this is my future wife. Along the line, you took it from the phone and you brought it to reality. You paid the bride price, the man marry you. One year in the marriage, two years in the marriage, three years gone. And now you say, no, this is not what I dream about. This is not what I'm asking God for. What is this? There are some people crying down in the marriage at home. Women are crying, men are crying. The men say, I never expected this. Character starts springing out. The thing you never expected to see from the man start bouncing up. The thing you never expected to see from the woman. When you chat it, you never see it. Now you're seeing something different. Another character started speaking now. And you're asking, what is this? It's the spirit of frustration. 
when you hear someone say, what is this? It is a spirit of frustration. The frustrating spirit hit Jacob. Jacob lived for seven years. He went deep seven good years. He couldn't find answer. He couldn't find solution. He couldn't find a breakthrough. He kept up broken with something else. He never expected to see Leo, but he see Leo. He never expected to go to that level. Listen, I don't know who is with you right now. You are regretting why you went into that marriage. You are regretting why you went into that relationship. You are regretting why you went into the entity to walk. 15 years of your life spent in that entity. You have nothing to show. Not even a plot of land to show. Not even a house on ground. Not even a business to show. You are frustrated you ask him what is this what is this some people marry right and they are regretting if they can turn the hand of clock again to come back they will have done it what is this jacob wept that night early morning jacob started crying what is this my seven years of labor my seven years of wasted for nothing jacob began to remember how you were laboring working hard for richer one year, two years, three years, four, five, six, seven, nothing to show. At the end of the day, seven years, he got something different. I don't know who the message is for. You are regretting today in that relationship. You are regretting today in that marriage. You say, God, what is this? This is not what I'm begging for. I never expected my life to reach to the place that this. God, what is happening? What is this? What is this? All my children turn against me. What is this? What a day that did nothing to my husband. He ain't treating me like this. What is this? What a this? I invested so much. My wife had turned against me and gone out with all my lifetime saving. What is this? What a this? I work five months now. They can't pay me. What is this? What is wrong? What is this in our family? All my mother children are not doing well. What is happening? What is happening that all my mother children girls are not married and still single? What is this? We can't lay our hands on what is unfolding, but we're asking the question. Every year you're asking the same question, what is this? Jacob asked that question early morning when he saw Lee by his side. He never expected Lee. He expected Rachel. But he slept on Lee without knowing that it was Lee. What is wrong, Jacob? You're sleeping with a woman on the bed and you don't know who is who? So you want to tell me the kissing you were kissing, all the touching you were touching. You didn't know it was, it was Lee? Jacob, you have to wait in the morning before you realize what is wrong. Something was happening there. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to turn the scripture. Let's go to the scripture quickly. Go to the next scripture quickly by God's special grace. My God, my God, to go to St. John. St. John chapter 20. Verse 4. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God, my God. Then when Jesus came, that is the most frustrating part here. Thomas was not there when Jesus came. He was among the twelve. He was okay. He was okay with them. He was among the twelve things so okay. But this time he was not there. Ha ah, yeah 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 yeah. When when Jesus healed the blind man, Thomas was there. The woman with the blood issue twelve consecutive years when she got a healing, Thomas was there. Are you following? When the when the centurion daughter got a healing, Thomas was there. From one place to another, he was there. When Jesus fed the 4,000, he was there. When Jesus fed the 5,000, Thomas was there. But this time, he was not there when Jesus came to give the apostolic blessing. 
when Jesus came to distribute the apostolic blessing, Thomas was not there. My God, my God, my God. Thomas labored with Christ from one place to another. Thomas was sleeping with Jesus in the open field in the cave. Thomas was in the mountain. He was in the city. He was in the forest with Jesus everywhere. But in the text we just read here, St. John chapter 20, Thomas was not present when Jesus came to give the blessing. I came to reward you for following me. I'm about to ascend into glory. Thomas was not in the room. What is this? When you labor in the relationship, time to marry someone else enter. What is happening to you? You labor, you labor in the marriage. Your husband didn't have a job. He was so loving, so caring. And so he got a job, time to enjoy. They kick you out. What is happening? What is wrong? You suffer for your children. From scratch and bring them up. They reach to the place for you to enjoy. They call you a witch. They call you a witch. And someone else enjoy in your place. What is happening? What is this? You stuck the intent from scratch. From nowhere with your skills, with your talent, with your gift in you. You took that entity from nowhere. They reach to the place to be recognized. Contracts start coming in. And then they sidelines you. What is this? What is this that every time relationship will turn bad for you? What is this that every time you will live in relationship and walk up better than broken? What is wrong? What is this that all your mother children stay down, nobody at the top? What is this? What is this? Thomas, what happened? After Jesus distributed the apostolic blessing, he blessed and he said, Whosoever you bless shall be blessed. Any man you curse shall be cursed. Whatever you bound on earth shall be bound on earth. Whatever you bound on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose there shall be losing heaven. The gift of the apostolic mantle. When Jesus left the building, Thomas came. Peter said, Thomas, where were you? Where were you, Thomas? So what happened? The Lord was here. He said, Don't tell me that. Peter, Peter said, Thomas, he was here. He blessed us. All this, all this person. They all begin to open it. Thomas, he was here. Thomas said, well, I can't believe it until I see him. Until I place my hand on the side and touch you. It can't be. I labor too much to miss this mantle. I labor to miss it. It can't be. Thomas wept bitterly. Out of frustration, he started doubting. Thomas couldn't be a doctor, but he could. Out of frustration, out of frustration, Thomas started adapting until I see him. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how well you have labors. You're watching me right now. You have labor for nowhere in relationship. Labor, somebody else is enjoying your benefit. Why? What is this? What is this that you cannot be happy? What is this? Like every time you step to the place, people will laugh and mock at you. What is this? You never put your hand into something that come out well. It is the spirit from the pit of hell. I see that thing coming to an end in your life. I see God bringing it to an end. Every spirit I make it to ask the question, what is this? May that thing come to an end in the name of Jesus. Your labor will not be in vain. You will not labor and someone else come to eat on your behalf. You will not build a house and someone live inside on your behalf. You will not plant a vineyard and someone harvest on your behalf. You will not take the relationship from Christ time to walk to the altar. Someone walk there on your behalf. You will not raise up your child or your children time to benefit from them. Someone will start benefiting on your behalf. It can't be you in the name of Jesus Christ. It will not be you. You will not ask that question in the middle of the marriage. May you not ask that question in the middle of the relationship. May you not ask that question in the middle of your business. May you not ask that question as a civil servant. May you not ask that question as a married man or married woman. May you not ask that question into your relationship you are living for. May you not ask that question when your child or children turn it against you. It shall not be your portion. What is this? Jacob woke up in the early morning and said, What is this? I expect Rachel to be by my side. How can this old little slip of me? I never begin for Leah. I begin for Rachel. Rachel, come. Rachel was not there. He looked at Leah and asked, What is this? In other words, what are you doing here? Who are you? It was too late. He slept with her. When he went to love and love and why you did this to me? Love and said in our custom and tradition, we don't do that. The elders get married before the younger one. So you have, if you still love Rachel, you got to go an additional seven years. Oh, Jacob Webb, I love Rachel. So, but then you have to go for seven more years. The man, he began to cry. He was bitter. He was frustrated. As someone watching me right now, you lost a relationship that was perfect. 
You lost a marriage that was okay when you started things from moving far. But something went up contrary to your plan and your dream. Look at you, five children, none of them are looking up to you. Look at you, you are doing everything in the relationship. Now somebody married a man and they drop you. You are leaving the marriage right now. You found it in for divorce. But it was not so from the beginning. When you started that relationship that went into marriage, all was well. When you got married initially, all was well. You were on top of things. It was heavy on earth between you and him. It was heavy on earth between you and her. But now you're fighting, you become enemy. What is this? You're fighting for divorce. You're insulting the woman. You're calling her devil. You're calling her death. You're calling her dad. You don't want to see the man again. You don't want to see that man. That man is my enemy. I don't want to see. I regretted the day that I met him. People are saying it out of frustration. What is this? What is this? What is wrong with you? You started building a house with zeal. You and the man. But look at now, confusion broke in. Confusion swept the place. And two of you going to court for the property. That was not what you planned for. Look at the children divided right now. You and your husband. You can't want a man to see the children. And the man angry with you, angry with him. And the children are frustrated. What is this? What is this? Thomas cried. I hear Thomas saying, what is this? I have labored for too long. I hear Thomas weeping. Oh my God, what is this? He didn't get it. It was too late for him. It was too late for Thomas. Thomas couldn't enter. Genesis 31, let's look at verse 7 quickly. What is this? Look at the scripture quickly. Genesis 31, verse 7. And your father had deceived me and changed my wages ten times. But God suffered him not to hurt me. Oh my God. Look at Jacob lamenting here. Your father had deceived me and changed my wages ten times. But God suffered him not to hurt me. Your father Laban had deceived me. He changed my wages ten times. Not one time. Ten good times. Ten good times. He changed my wages ten times. Not one time, not two, ten times. I don't know who would have changed in your wages. You work for something, you can't see it. You labor for something, you can't find it. You labor for something, you can't find it coming. And age is not on your side. Age is not on your side. You've been working for day one up to now. You, have, you don't even have, have lot. Have lot. You don't even have nothing to show. You don't have a parcel of land to show on your own with all your hard labor over the years. What is this? You travel to the, to, to the United States. Look at your life. You go 15 years in that nation, but you don't have anything to prove that you oversee. You travel, you left Africa. You're watching me from Europe. You're watching me from Asia. You're watching me from North or South America. Nothing to show. Watching from Australia. Over the years, nothing to show. You've been working hard. You can't sleep. You can't rest. You are eating in your car, driving to work, from that work to another work. You come back, take one hour nap, just wake up again, go to job, just to show something. But yet, nothing to show. What is this? Living from hand to mouth, living from paycheck to paycheck, something is wrong. Something is wrong. This is not you. You are hard working and people are praising you. Everybody talks about how hard working you are. But you yourself know that you have nothing to show. You know. Now look at you, you're a single woman right now. You are doing extremely well until that man came in your life. From the day that man came in your life, your whole life has been messed up. Everything has turned against you. You were on top of things. You were doing extremely well. But from the day you met that woman, your life scattered. From the day you met that man, your whole life scattered. You tried to rearrange yourself again. Everything gone bad. What is this? What is this that we can't succeed from our mother's house? What is this that nobody can travel abroad from my father's house? What is this that no daughters from my mother's home can even become a graduate? What is this that nobody has passed primary three? What is this in our family that we are struggling like this? What is this? Thomas couldn't get it. And Jacob said, I've changed my witches ten times. If God were not on my side, he would have hurt me. But God stopped him from hurting me. 
His intention was to frustrate me, but God stopped it. But he have changed my wages. I worked for day, he changed it. I worked for Rachel, he gave me leave. I worked with the cattle, he changed it. I went the other way, he changed it. Ten times, but I kept quiet. I don't know who God is talking to through this message. That you've been suffering with things, you can't find the reality of it. You've been laboring, you can't find anything. And you know that this is not your life. You know that something is wrong somewhere, but you can't lay your hand to touch it. You know that it is not you. You are not a lazy type. You don't like to depend on people. You like to work things out. But every time you try to put your hand, it's not working. You wonder, sometimes you get so frustrated. God, I can't understand my life. What is this? He asked a question. He changed my wages 10 times. People of God, you should understand right here. Let's go to the scripture quickly. Genesis chapter 10 and 5. Let's look at verse 16 to 19. And they journeyed from Bethel, and there was but a little way to come to Ephrath. And Rachel traveled, and she had hard labor. Verse 17. And it came to pass when she was in hard labor, not short labor, hard labor, that the men were said to her, Fear not, thou shalt have this son also. And it came to pass, verse 18, as her soul was departing. For she died, for she died, that she called his name Beni, Benoni. But his father called him Benjamin. Now listen to that, listen to that, listen to that. She was deep, her soul was departing. And Rachel died, verse 19. And Rachel died and was buried in the way to Ephraim, in the way which is built to her. My God, my God. Rachel had a hard labor. It was that same Rachel that Jacob labored for. It was that same Rachel he kissed at the way and Rachel took him to her father. It was that same Rachel he went seven years for and he was trick. It was that same Rachel he was 14 years for and got her. It was that same Rachel that couldn't give birth after he married her. It was that same Rachel that struggled to produce children for him. That see Rachel brought her house girl to sleep with her husband. What kind of thing is this? For the time I met this woman called Rachel, my life had turned around. I could hear Jacob crying, the covenant son of Isaac. Crying, Lord, why me? My grandfather was blessed. My grandfather received the mantle in Genesis of the 12 from God Almighty. Transferred to my father. My father blessed me. What is wrong? What is wrong? I received blessing from my father. I now that when I give him the food, he blessed my life. He said, things will be well with me. My father blessed me. But I can't understand for the day that I met this woman called Rachel. The first thing that happened, I lost her mother and all little with twisted eyes. I went back again for another laboring time for seven years. Your father tricked me. And then I married you again. Barrenness came in. I can't find a child. You, the same Rachel store, Father God, and sat on top of me. That same Rachel, oh God, she brought her house help for me to sleep with her to have child for her name. Oh God. Jacob was crying. What has come upon me? This is not what I'm begging for in life. I know what I expected my life to be like this. I want a one wife. But look at me carrying four wives. Four. What is wrong? What is this? In my entire life, I asked for one. But look at four wives. Four with 12 children. It was not what he planned for. Rachel was not pregnant or going. Jacob told her, We are going back to my family. I want to show your in law. I will take you to my family. They will cherish you. They will be happy to you. They will bless your life. You will be very happy for the rest of your life. Rachel was shouting. She was smiling. I'm going to my husband, people. Oh, she was pregnant along the way. When they got to him, fried, the woman couldn't go yonder. Please grab her along the way. Oh, Rachel. I am always in pain right now in that relationship. You are in the relationship where you are in pain with bitterness. You are in the marriage with pain and bitterness when you try to call up. You are hiding from people that were there on the wedding. You are hiding from friends that stood with you in the wedding. You are hiding from your mother. You are hiding from people. You don't want people to mock and laugh at you. You laugh when you go outside. You dress where you smile. But you are dying with pain in a relationship. You are dying with pain in a marriage. What is wrong, God? 
Let's run a big grapple along the way. The network says, oh, push your almost there. Almost to the city. Almost to belt the hand. Richard died along the way. Oh God. May it not be your portion. You will not die along the way. You will not die wide into your future. You will not die wide into your place of happiness. You will not die while you have labor. Time to enjoy the fruit of the labor you died. Rachel labor almost in a place called Bethlehem, the city of enjoyment. She died on the way. May you not die on the way to your glory. May you not die on the way to happiness. May you not labor in the desert. Time to enter the city you died. May you not labor for your children. Time to enjoy that you died. May you not labor with the house. Time to finish it you died. It shall not be your portion. You will not die along the way. You will not die in the wilderness. You will not die in frustration. You will not die in depression. You will not die in a sickness. God will take you to the place of fulfillment. Rachel died along the way. Her labor was in vain. She labored for nothing. All the cases she gave to the man at the well was for nothing. The 14 years he labored for was for nothing. All the trauma he went through for nothing. It may not be your portion in Jesus' name. May it not be your portion in the name of Jesus. I pray for someone going through this. May your labor never be in vain. Your labor in that marriage will not be in vain. Your labor in that relationship will not be in vain. Your labor in that business will not be in vain. Your labor with that man will not be in vain. Your labor with that woman will not be in vain. Your labor in bringing all your child and your children will not be in vain. Your labor, your labor in that institution will not be in vain. Your labor with that entity will not be in vain. Your labor will not be in vain. You will not die along the way. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for somebody right now. I know you're crying. Say, Pastor, you're talking to me. The message is for me. That woman crying right now. Feel how walking I know you. You are very submissive in relationship, but you're always better. They talk to you anyhow. That man, you are crying. You humble yourself to respect the woman. You, show, you do everything just to make her happy. But she don't like you. Don't like your people. Don't like your family. You don't want to leave her. You love her so much, but you don't respect your biological mother. She insults your mother anyhow. But you only hold to the mother because you love her. You are better, but you are still smiling at the same time. You're laughing because you don't want people to know what you're going through. You love your wife. And you're asking, Lord, what is this? What is this? Lord, what is this? What is happening to me? Young girl, you have tried your best to be faithful. But the more you try to be faithful, the more they accuse you, the more they lie on you. The man who even trusts you one bit. For every step you take, you accuse you of doing something you know that you're not doing. You try to please in the relationship. You try to please him. You try to prove everything that this is the one I want. But the more you try to do the best, the more they accuse you falsely. And you ask him, God, what is this? This particular one, I've tried my best. I've tried to be committed. I've tried to be faithful. But the more I try to be committed and faithful, the more they accuse me, the more they lie on me. What is this? Some of you right now, you're walking out as I'm talking now with bitterness. Some of you are signing divorce paper. You're on divorce right now. Some of you waiting for the document to sign. You are bitter. Some of you regretting the only thing you get out of that is child. Some of you are children and you hate the day you met that man. You hate the day you met that woman. Some of you are regretting right now. Some of you are asking questions. The, 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 the background question. What, what is wrong with my mother? What is wrong with my father's background? You can't understand everybody in that family are down. Everything you try to do, no way. People will go up, they come down to nothing. They go on the top, they come down to nothing. May God deliver your family. May God take that bitterness from your life. May God Almighty set you free. This is a new move in your life. You are delivered from that question. You are delivered from that bitterness. You are delivered from that shame. Your labor will not be vain. You will not labor and walk out broken and bitter. You will not labor and walk out empty handed. You will not labor and walk out frustrated. You will not labor and walk out with shame. You will not labor and come up nothing to show. Your labor will not be evaded. Your labor will not be evaded. You will not ask the question again, what is this? May you not ask that question again, what is this? May you not ask that question again, what is this? You are free from shame. You are free from that disgrace. That relationship will not bring your family shame. That marriage will not bring your family shame. 
that relationship will not bring disgrace to you that business will not pull you down in the name of Jesus Christ you are working as a civil servant you have nothing to show over the years you are doing business no profit you just crediting to sell you are laboring to do something you travel overseas but you are overseas and you are still back at you are frustrated overseas you got three years nothing to show you got five years overseas nothing to show you got ten years overseas nothing to show some of you 15 years nothing to show you don't have nothing back home to show you are still struggling when your mother call you for help you credit to send when your father call you for medication you credit for friends to serve when your sibling call you for help overseas you are confused you are confused and frustrated you keep shouting at them on the phone not because you want to shout at them but because you are frustrated so you shout and call up the line you don't want to do it but you got to do it for them to know that you're angry you get angry just for no reason because you are frustrated you told them you will help them you told them it will be well when i travel i will help you but now you travel five years you are not said a damn back to your mother you are not said a send to your father your father complaining they say your father is sick and you know that he's really sick but you have nothing to give they say your mother is not healthy she's not doing well in her health you heard me you talk with mama you talk with your biological mother you promised to send two days ago but you couldn't get it you promised to send one week again you tried no way you promised to send again another week you tried no way your mother is waiting people are waiting on you you cry day and night lord i want to help but my hands are short you tried the job no way some of you are working on the cover job you are having to do job no paper they don't know that you are suffering they don't know you are struggling some of you have lost your job you set home managing right now some of your friends are feeding you overseas some of your old friends or relatives are feeding you overseas but you have people back who don't know i come to pray with you may god deliver you May God set you free. This message is to bring deliverance to your life. This message will set you free. This message will turn your life around positively. I'm speaking to you that are watching me. Your life will not be better again. You have struggled so many years. It's time for redemption. It's time for freedom. It's time to work out. It's time to be blessed. Get ready for your next level. Get ready for your high level. I see God elevating you. I see God promoting you. I see God blessing your life. I can't love my day. Somebody tap it is me. Begin to tap it is me. If you tap it is me, God will find you. If you tap it is me, more than 20 times God will locate you. I'm talking to you that tapping it is me. Your life will not see bitterness. She will not come back again. Your mother will not call you and she can't find help for your hand. Your father will not die. Your number answer mission. Keep answering him. Your sibling will not be in trouble to call you can help. This team must come to an end. I see you helping your family. I see you changing the record. I see your mother praising God because of you. Your father is praising God because of you. You will change your family condition. You will rewrite your father's story. You will rewrite your generation's story. You will put them back on track. You will break their heart and build a concrete structure. You will put a roof over your father's head. Your mother will labor for you. She will enjoy you before she died. Your sibling will celebrate you when you travel. They will pray God for you. Somebody watching me from Liberia, from Africa. May you not be in shame. May you not be in total disgrace. May God deliver you from the spirit of confusion. May God set you free. Everything I've tied you down in Liberia, in Africa. May God answer you and deliver you. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God, my God. Deuteronomy chapter 34. Look at this one. Look at this one. And Moses went up from the plains of Moab unto the mountain of Nebo, to the top of Pega, that is over against Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Galilee unto Dan, verse 2. And all Natar, and the land of Ephraim, and Menesed, and all the land of Judah, Unto the uttermost sea. Verse 3. And the south and the plain of the valley of Jericho. And the city of palm trees unto Zohar. Verse 4. And the Lord said unto him. This is the land which I swear unto Abraham. Unto Isaac. And unto Jacob. Say. I will give it unto the seed. 
have caused thee to see it with thy eyes, but thou shalt not go over Tyler. Someone say, I reject it. Someone shall I reject it. Tap it, I reject it. I will go over. Someone say, I will go over. Someone say, I will go over. Tap it, I will go over. Verse 5, the last. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died dead in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. The servant of God, Moses, died. Not somebody else, but Moses, the servant of the Lord. The servant of the Lord died on timely. The servant of the Lord died on the way to the future. The servant of the Lord, the servant of the Lord died there in the land of Moab. May it not be my portion. In the name of Jesus, it will not be your portion. In the name of Jesus, you will not see it, you can't eat it. You will not see it, you can't touch it. Moses saw the glory, he didn't enter into the glory. All that Moses labored for, all that he labored for when God called him. Moses saw the bush burning. He saw fire on the bush and the bush was not burning. Moses was there, right in God's presence. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I want you to understand Moses, the man that died here in this text. He was a man that saw the fire on the bush and the bush was not burning. He walked forward to really see a good. And the voice spoke, don't come closer. Where you are standing is the holy ground. Remove your shoe. And the voice spoke to him out of that fire. Moses knelt down and God transformed him. He became a deliverer, went to Egypt, brought God people out of Egypt with iron hand, with power demonstration. In the wilderness again, he opened the Red Sea. The people were hungry, he gave them food. God told him what to do. They insulted him. They talked against him. Moses, even the brother and sister went against him. But he stayed kept quiet. They were tested. He knocked the right water came. What am I saying? I'm saying Moses was there laboring for the people. But the same man missed it. The same man called Moses missed it. The Lord said, come up and see the place. But you will not go there. His background could allow him to enter into his future. His background stopped him halfway. His background denied him from going beyond. Genesis chapter 49, he was cursed by his great-grandfather. Jacob cursed Levite. Levi and Simeon are brother. He said, I shall scatter them in Jacob and divide them in Israel. The Levi, Levi were cursed and Moses came from the tribe of Levi. So the, the background stopped him. Moses was called. Moses saw God back. Moses spoke to God. Like he was talking to men. Moses went into Manasseh 40 days and night just to hear God. Moses, God wrote the Ten Commandments and gave to him. Moses saw power. Moses saw miracle. Moses was a man in God's presence 247. But his background couldn't allow him to go. You can be anointed and you suffer. You can be a pressor and you suffer. You can be an usher and you're barren. You can be a pastor preaching the gospel and nothing to show. May your background never stop you. I pray today, your paternal background will not stop you. In the name of Jesus Christ, your maternal background will not stop you. In the name of Jesus Christ, your background will not stop you at the place of enjoyment. Your background will not take good people from your life. Your background will not scatter your relationship. Your background will not scatter your marriage. Your background will not scatter your business. Your background will not deprive your happiness. Your background will not take husband away from you. Your background your background will not take wife away from you. Your background will not make you barren. Your background will not make you frustrated. Your background will not stop you from entering your happiness. I pray with someone watching me now. Today is a day of deliverance. You are delivered from your family problem. You are delivered from your paternal problem. You are delivered from maternal problem. Every problem connected from your village frustrating you and disconnect you in Jesus name. Everything from the altar, from the mother's altar, your father's altar in that village, haunting daughters and sons today I disconnect you from it in the name of Jesus Christ may you not ask that question what is this in your relationship may you not ask the question again in your business you are free from your background problem every generational curse in the bloodline I command it to break from your blood everything holding people dignity and honor I destroy it from your life everything blocking people to stand up financially for your family I destroy it in Jesus name everything stopping people destiny from your family I Stop it in Jesus' name. What we'll stop the errors so your family will not stop you? What we'll stop daughters in that bloodline will not stop you? What we'll stop sons in that family will not stop you? What we'll stop great men will not stop you? What we'll brought them low will not bring you low. That thing will scatter. That thing shall be destroyed. Every tree in the village that's swollen people destiny. I command fire to locate that tree. 
every elders in that village uh, calling people sourcing and swallowing there uh, they will not swallow your own uh, in the name of Jesus uh, they think of scattering marriages from the background uh, will not scatter your own marriage uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, they think that make good people to disappear from daughters in that family may they not see your face uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, you shall not encounter another bitterness uh, you will not go through another frustration uh, you will not go through another years of bitterness and frustration uh, today may God set you free uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, you are delivered from shame uh, you are delivered from disgrace uh, you are delivered from stagnation uh, you are delivered from family sickness uh, you are delivered from family shame uh, you are delivered from family stagnation uh, you are delivered from family late marriage uh, you are free from family untimely death uh, your children will not partake in it uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, what we'll stop your father will not stop you uh, what we'll stop your mother will not stop you uh, what we'll stop your grandfather will not stop you what we'll stop your great grandfather will not stop you uh, I break it from the blood. I destroy it from the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus enter into the blood. In the name of Jesus. I infuse the blood of Jesus in your blood. And I command the blood of your father to disappear. You have the new blood in your system. That's the blood of victory. That's the blood of success. That's the blood of prosperity. That's the blood of favor enter into you. You shall walk and not go down. You shall stand and not go beneath. I bless your life. You shall be blessed and you're going out uh, and blessing you're coming in uh, when you wake up you should walk in favor uh, when you go to bed you go back in good health uh, when you stand you stand in blessing uh, men from far and near shall locate you and favor you uh, you will sing the Lord's song in Psalm 100 verse 1 uh, you will sing the song of praise unto the Lord uh, my God I bless your body uh, I command sickness to leave you uh, you will not die because of that sickness uh, you will not die because of shame uh, you will not die because of frustration uh, you will not die because you're barren uh, I look I lose your womb in Jesus' name. I lose your womb in Jesus' name. I prophesy fruitfulness. I prophesy healing in your body. I prophesy healing in your system. Your child will not die. I see your daughter standing up again to make you proud. I see your children standing up to make you happy. I see peace returning into your marriage. I see peace entering into your relationship. I see blessing locating you. On that job, you shall be lifted. That job promotion is coming. That job blessing is coming. You shall be favored at the job. Uh, bosses will look at you and favor you. Uh, my God, see promotion coming. Uh, I see employment coming. Uh, I see deliverance coming. Uh, the hand of the Lord will rest on you. Uh, you shall be left in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. My God, my God, my God. Le Gabo Sata Labada. Zeki Gabo. Psalm chapter 86. Male Gabo Zagadea. Male Badu Zigade. Verse 17. Show me a token for good that they wish hate me may see it. Oh my God, I love the scripture. I love the scripture. I love the scripture. Oh my God. Show me a token for good that they wish hate me may see it and be ashamed because thou, the Lord, has hoping me and comforted me. Listen to that. Show me a token for good. That they wish hate me may see. And when my enemies to see, show me a token. Show me a token. Show me a token. Lord, show me a token for good. Show me a token, God. Let me see it. Let not my labor be in vain, God. Show me a token. Show me a sign, Lord. I will make it. The shame is too much for me. The embarrassment is too much for me. Show me something, God. Prove them wrong. Oh, God. Oh, my enemies are oh, they are waiting to laugh again in the new relationship. They are waiting to mock at me again in the new relationship. They are waiting again to mock at me in this other marriage. They are waiting to laugh at me again. God, oh, show me, God, oh, show me. Show me, Jehovah, show me, show me, show me a sign. Show me something, God, oh, show me, show me, please, show me. I can't continue like this. I can't continue like this, Lord. I can't continue like this. I can't continue like this, Jehovah. Show me, show me, Lord, show me. I will not continue like this. God, show me. Show me. I pray for someone watching me. May you not go down in shame. May you not go down in disgrace. Your life will not be in shame. God will prove your enemies wrong. God will silence your marker with your evidence. God will prove them wrong in this season. In this season, God will show forth. God will prove to them. God will show forth his glory. In this season, you will prove your enemies wrong. They are ready to be blessed beyond human imagination. 
Get ready to testify. Get ready to bounce back. I'm speaking to somebody you bounce back. You will bounce back again. I see you will stand up again. You will bounce back in life. You will sing that song in the name of Jesus Christ. Your head shall be lifted singing the Lord's song. You shall not go down in shame. All those that have been waiting to hear bad news from you, they shall be disappointed. Those that are waiting to mock and laugh at you, they shall be frustrated. I'm talking to somebody watching me. This is your time. It is a season of glory. May God answer your prayer. God will bless your life. You're going to be so blessed that people will wonder how did you get it. Get ready to prosper. Get ready to build a house. Get ready to finish the project. Get ready to go in business. Get ready to be employed. Get ready to help your siblings. Get ready to help your mother that suffer for you. Get ready to help your father. Get ready to finish your father's house he couldn't finish. Get ready to turn it around. Get ready to rewrite your family's story. Get ready to rewrite your father's story. Get ready to redress your father. Get ready to redress your mother that people are laughing at. Get ready to make them shame. You will prove them wrong. God is raising you up again. You shall be a light to your generation. You shall be a light unto your siblings. You will become a light unto your family. May God bless you. You shall be blessed in your going out and blessing your coming in. You shall do well in Jesus' name. You shall not be stranded. May God bless the works of your hands. May God answer your prayer. Let let be light. Let there be light in your life. Let there be light in your marriage. Let there be light in your relationship. Let there be light in your career. Let there be light in your going out. Let there be light in your coming in. May you not enter into darkness. Every prolonged dry season you are in, I terminate it in Jesus' name. Every prolonged dryness you are experiencing, I terminate it in Jesus' name. Every prolonged dry season you are encountering, I terminate it in Jesus' name. It is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Receive deliverance. Receive deliverance. Receive deliverance. Receive deliverance. Receive deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It shall be well with you. May God bless you. May God increase you. May you not drink the water of Marak. You shall not be better in that marriage. The attack over your marriage is coming to an end. Every attack over your wife is coming to an end. Every attack over your husband is coming to an end. Every attack on your womb is coming to an end. Every attack over your siblings is coming to an end. God shall deliver you. You shall be free from that dry season. That prolonged dry season is over. In the name of Jesus, may heaven bless you. You shall be a walking blessing. Your hands shall be blessed. Your body will reject sickness. You shall be healthy. You will be strong. You will live long and fulfill your years in the name of Jesus. Get ready to stand up in life. I prophesy to you with my eyes open. Everybody that hoping, waiting for you to go down, they shall be disappointed in the name of Jesus. Your home shall not scatter. Your children will enjoy you. Your husband will be healthy. Your husband will not die. Your wife will not die. Your brother will not die. Your children will not die. COVID-19 will not sweep them. In the name of Jesus Christ, your hands shall be blessed. In this season, you will not go down financially. You will not be stranded. In the name of Jesus, you will not be alive and your mother be in shame. You will not be alive and your father borrowing money from people. You will not be alive and your father can't finish his house. You will not be alive and your mother can't wear good clothes. God will use you to take away the shame. God will use you to take away the disgrace. God will use you to furnish your life. You shall be a reservoir of blessing. You shall be a container of blessing. You shall become a carrier of blessing. Through you, generation will praise God. Through you, generation will know the law. Through you, generation will worship the law. Because of you, your father will go abroad. Because of you, your father will travel abroad. Because of your mother will wear good clothes. Because of your mother will live in a decent house. Because of your siblings will go to school and, and come up college. So shall it be in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. What is this? Jacob asked the question when he slept that night and woke up and saw an old lady by his side. He said, What is this? In my conclusion, it is a frustrating question. That if you don't care for you can't find answer what is this again that a lot of people are frustrated broken and bitter they have tried sometimes people are laughing at some of them they are not lazy people think you are lazy they say you are too frustrated you are lazy this woman's too lazy this gets lazy no they don't understand what you are going through they don't know exactly what you are passing through 
So based upon what they see, they say you are lazy. Listing, God will change it. You are not lazy. Something is wrong somewhere. Some of you spending years with people and you are so happy in the relationship, it turned turn around to make you better today. You were so happy in the marriage, but right now you are better. You are desiring to walk out right now. And nobody can tell you to stay, you stay now. Because you are, you, you, the man you are calling your brother has become your enemy. The woman you are calling your sister, she has become your enemy. You are waiting to sign the people that back up. And you say, what is this? You look at him, you say, what is this? You look at her and say, what is this? You never asked the question before, but now you are asking that question. Life has turned around. But I pray with you in this service. May you not go down in shame. May your labor never be in vain. May this message transform your life. I pray with you that you will succeed. I join my prayer with your prayer. You will succeed. I will succeed. We will make it in Jesus' name. We will not go down in shame. This message is solution to us. This message is answer to our prayer. This particular day is a day of transformation. Because we are listening to God speaking through the vessel, we will not be in shame. We are breaking out of stagnation into progress. In the name of Jesus Christ, it shall be well with us. Listen, I want you to read a couple of scripture quickly. I want you to read it. I'm giving you the scripture. When you get home, please read it. Can, after the live broadcast, take your time, read a couple of scripture. I want you to take down the scripture, read it. Make sure you, 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 you read it. Number one, I want you to take a pen and paper, get the scripture down. Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 23. I'll tell you, I'm, not, I'm talking to you now, watching me. I want you to read it, read the scripture and pray with the scripture. It's a prayer point, pray with it before I leave. Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 23. That's the first scripture. Isaiah chapter 21 verse 11. The second scripture. Psalm 11 verse 2. The third scripture. Psalm 64 verse 3. Psalm 35, 1. I'm going over again. Deuteronomy 32, verses 23. Isaiah 21, verses 11. Psalm 11, verse 2. Psalm 64, verse 3. Psalm 35, 1. Let me add another one quick. Acts chapter 8, verse 6 to 10. Don't forget, I'm going to read it last time. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 23. Isaiah chapter 21, 11. Psalm chapter 11, verse 2. Psalm 64, verse 3. Psalm 35, verse 1. And Acts chapter 8, from 8 to 10. Take down the scripture, begin to read. May God favor you. May God bless you. May your life never be the same. I thank you, Jesus, for those watching. Let the glory hit them. Let it be a massive deliverance. Let it be testimony in someone's house. Let there be peace in that union. Let there be breakthrough God. Let there be healing in that man's body. Healing God in that woman's body. Healing God in that body. In that boy. In that girl. Healing God in someone's house. Under that roof. COVID-19 will disappear. As you're watching me, you'll be completely healed. The Lord will restore your health. You will bounce back again. God is healing you right now in the hospital. If you're in your house, sick with COVID-19, you are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. May heaven heal you right now. In the name of Jesus. May you be restored completely. In the name of Jesus. Every heart attack, I cancel it. Every pain in your body you're experiencing, I destroy it. Every chest pain, lost. In the name of Jesus. I speak to your eyes to open. I speak to your ears to open. I speak to your mouth to break open. In the name of Jesus. Wake up from that wheelchair and begin to walk. Rise up and walk. That prolonged bleeding, stop in Jesus' name. You have got one more bleeding now. Two months bleeding. I command to cease in Jesus' name. Cease right now. Every pain in your body disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. You are healing Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Grab your bottle of water quickly everywhere you are. Grab your bottle of water. Le Gabo Shalabahandageria. Le Gabo Shabadea. Grab your water everywhere you are. Grab your water. It's time to bless the water in the name of Jesus. God is doing something wonderful. Father, we bless the water in the name of the Lord. We bless this water. There's no more an ordinary water. Get a sack of water. Get more 100. Get 30, 48. Get it, 28. I decree and I declare it. It is no more an ordinary water. 
There's a prophetic water, healing water, delivering water. It become a miracle water. May God use this water to establish his covenant. The water has no power, but at the name of Jesus Christ today. This water has no power, cannot perform any miracle. But I add the name of Jesus Christ to this water. And I consecrate it in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Blessed Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, because it is done. Let this water be a miracle water today. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Open it. Thank you, Lord. Touch your body everywhere you are. The God of Abraham, let the healing power begin to manifest in that man's body right now. That man watching God, let healing take place in the body now. COVID-19 disappear from that body. Every diabetes, cancer, pneumonia. God in Jesus saying, have blood pressure. Disappear in the name of Jesus. No blood pressure. Disappear right now. Every heart problem. Go. Can the problem. Leave a problem. Disappear. Back pain. Waist pain. God in Jesus saying, I speak to your spinal cord. I speak to your brain. Healing taking place now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to your womb. Let there be healing. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke everything that is not of God in your system. I rebuke everything that is not of God in our system. In the name of Jesus, let there be healing in the system now. Thank you, God. Let there be a miracle, financial blessing, favor, employment, prosperity, favor. In the name of Jesus, so be it. Amen. God bless you. I'm your host, Ambassador Sam in David. Hallelujah. My God, thank you for joining us in this wonderful Defund Worship service. Hope to see you again right here by God's grace. Wednesday, we'll be right here on Prophet Simon David Page. As a page will be going live from every time right now, Prophet Simon David Page. So inform others, we'll be live here, not on Ambassador Simon Page again, but Prophet Simon Page. That's my official page. So tell others, please share it. Every time we're going live, we'll be right here on my official page, Prophet Sammy David, right on this page, not on Ambassador Sammy page again. Hallelujah. God bless you. I know you are blessed by this message. If the message touched you, please let us know. Email us. Check on the screen. The scripture are there for you. Look on the screen. The scripture. Get the scripture. Get your pen and get the scripture right on the board. You look on the screen right there. Get the scriptures right on the screen there. Hallelujah. God bless you. I love you all. Make sure if the message touched you, if God has bless you, be a blessing also. Our PayPal that can right on the screen there. If you are led by the Holy Ghost to be a blessing, our PayPal that can right there. You can do it through PayPal. You can do it through mobile money. May God bless you. We love you all so much. Remember, Wednesday we'll be right here for our deliverance service again, 11:20 a.m. Then our warfare night comes on Monday, tomorrow, and our warfare night comes Thursday and Friday. That's Monday. That's Thursday. That's Friday. Warfare night. But our deliverance service Wednesday. And Sunday, our regular service. Hallelujah. God bless you. We love you all. Shalom. Remember, Jesus Christ is law. Let's go to our covenant statement. One to go. I have a covenant with God not to die young, but to live and finish my assignment on this earth. I am a covenant child of God, born to win and not to lose. I will always be at the top and not at the bottom. I am the first and not.